to Beyond the Play RVA. I'm your host, Rebecca Pierce. I'm so happy to be back with you. And today we have a special guest chef, the one and only, you know, those of you in the Richmond area, you probably know him, but his name is Mr. BK Fulton. How are you, Mr. Fulton? I am doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fulton is the CEO and founder of Solidify Productions. And one of the reasons why I brought him on the show today is because I follow him on social media and he's always burning in the kitchen. So I thought, well, it looks like you are a chef by heart. So let's bring him on the show with one of the dishes that I saw, which was the fantastic, and I hope I don't mess up the name, right? We are cooking today. Well, I'll let you tell us. What are we cooking today? We are cooking a basil yes. pesto basted Chilean sea bass. See, and I always mess up the word Magnifique. Chilean. <laughs> <laughs> Magnifique. And I'm so excited about this dish because I've never had sea bass. So You're in I, poetry? I hope so. So I want you to tell us a little bit, tell our audience perhaps who's also never had this fish before. Okay. Like what kind of fish is it? How much preparation goes into it? How did you okay. get into it? it? It's a really wonderful fish. So it's a white fish and um, it's kind of pricey. Okay. But you know, it runs typically 50 to 100 and something a pound. Oh, wow, that is pricey. Um, but you can get it at uh, Whole Foods when they have sales for around 20 mm -hmm. and change okay. a pound. So that's a really good price. The fish is really easy to prepare, okay. um, absorbs whatever spices you put in it, and it has a, a buttery taste oh. to it, which really comes through. I like that. I like to cook it with the skin to keep some of the moisture. Okay. And then we take it off when we serve, but absolutely fantastic. Okay, so it's a little bit pricey, but I think this is probably one of the best dishes for a date night. You know, we usually try to do family meals on the show, but I thought, you know, spring is here. It's a romantic time of year, so let's get a good dish. So is this something you, you do cook often for your honey? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> she's watching it, she's loving it. <laughs> okay, so let's get prepared. I know you have a ton of spices that you use, and I can't yes. wait to learn about these spices. So where, where's our little fish at? What are we doing okay. today? So we have the fish here. So before I put the fish in, uh, we preheat our oven to 400. Okay. 400. So really important. Uh, you can do lower, but I like to do 400 for about 18 to 20 minutes. Okay. I don't want the fish to be dry. Right. Um, and I don't want it to be undercooked. Okay. Um, so I do the 400 for 20 minutes. But before I put the fish in, I prepare my secret sauce. Oh boy. With these special blends, these special spices. Oh yes, tell and us so, about these. And so I'm gonna tell you about them as I throw them okay. in. And so first, just a little virgin olive oil. Just a little, And yeah. just put it in. Now I don't really measure, cause you know, but I put it, I put it in uh, generous. <laughs> and then I get a little uh, rice vinegar. Okay, what does rice vinegar do? Rice vinegar, what it will do when we put the basil pesto reduction in, mm -hmm. it'll help to emulsify it, to reduce it, so okay. that it, it spreads out. So right now it's more like a paste, and then when I put the vinegar in and I'll thin it out with my spoon, it will actually meld into oh. the sauce. It's really nice. Okay, so, so you, how much do you so put in you there? then you put I'm a little vinegar in there. Just, you know, just put a little bit in I'm there. I'm being nosy, y'all. I have to be you nosy. Know. Wait a minute, was that like a take? You're a non-measuring cook. I'm a non-measuring cook. <laughs> and I, I swirl that around a little swirl. bit. Let the oil and vinegar mix. It's kind of cool. Yay. Okay. Okay. And then, so this spice is, this? A, is an African spice with a za'atar in it from Israel. And so it's really important mm. when you get the za'atar. So you can get the za'atar as a blend, yes. but it's really better to get it with the herb in it from the Middle East. And so I go to a mm. place in Charlottesville called the Spice Diva. I was gonna say, and they're the only place to really get that. I mean, okay. the other places around town, they have the mixed thyme and a few other things, mm -hmm. but it's a blend, but it doesn't have the herb. I Traditional za'atar. I was eating at a, a restaurant uh -huh. and they were telling me about this great spice that they actually put on breads. Oh, so okay. I started reading more and in the Middle East a lot of them will have uh, bread recipes, mm -hmm. naan, etc. But every household puts their version of za'atar and oil oh. and you bake it. But I learned, and also from the Spice Diva, that you can put it on fish, you mix it with a little apple smoked salt and it's Ooh, woo. Apple but, smoked salt. but anyway so you put a little of this sprinkle just right in here generously oh, okay okay and then this is a butter steak seasoning that you kind of throw in there steak. 
You're going to okay. a whole new level over here. All right. Then a little chili lime powder. Chili lime. A little chili lime powder. We're going to throw that in there. Let me let me go ahead and throw in oh. my basil pesto so it can start to reduce. Now, do you make that on your own? or? I don't make this. I actually picked this up from uh, Costco. Oh, hey, Costco. Shout out. And <laughs> you can get that. So I throw that in there. Looks like about a cup. Yeah. And then I want that. I want that rice wine vinegar oh, to, mix to, to mix with that, to start to break that down. Uh, we've it's got so some good. caramelized onions. It already smells it good. Already it smells smells good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Caramelized onions, okay. We've got a garlic butter Ooh, seasoning. Garlic so we throw that in there. That sounds good too. And then a honey garlic seasoning. Never heard of honey garlic we either. Throw that in there. You're taking okay. us on a journey for food. Take aren't on you? a journey. Look at that. And then to, to give the sauce a little bit more volume, I'm gonna add, just, just add a little cold up. water. Ooh, that looks like about okay. fourth cup of water. Yeah, see, I appreciate that. <laughs> then I'm gonna get my little um get my little spoon. And you're gonna mix it. Gonna mix that around. Oh that smells so, so good. So that you what guys. you get oh my goodness. is this this really fluid um, sauce mm. and then it's going to be really great because we're going to baste our sea bass in it. That looks beautiful. Oh, it's going to taste even better. The fish isn't even in it and I just want to drink the sauce. Yeah, well, <laughs> ironically, my wife puts it on salad. Oh, really? Uh, we, we, we cook this wonderful uh, bread Ooh. and then we'll dip the bread in it and, and sop it. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, so you can, you can really get into it. So then oh we're gonna gosh. open up this fish here. Okay, let's look at this beautiful piece of fish. It's a beautiful now, piece of fish. Did you buy this with, you bought this with the skin on? Or? We buy it with the skin on. Okay, yep. there it is. And then I'm just gonna, then I just take it and rinse it a little bit. I'm gonna but, move out of the way here. But it's a lovely piece of fish. Look at that. It looks almost like a salmon. It looks almost like a salmon, except for the white color instead of the more pinkish with mm -hmm. the salmon. But that's what the oh, skin looks like. Wonderful. And I just wash that off a little bit. Some people like to like to pat them dry before they put it in the oven, mm -hmm. but it's not really necessary. Okay. And then because it's all gonna go in here, I'm gonna baste it. And so you just oh. place that in the pan. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get me a paper towel. So put that in there like that. And then we're gonna take our same spoon. And, and we're just okay. gonna spoon that over the sea bass. Because I was wondering, I thought you were gonna like put all the seasoning like on top of the I'm ghetto. No, That's how we do it no, at home. <laughs> no, no. No, you put it, you do the mixing all together. Spread it on. And then spread it on. That's okay. great. And then what I, what I will do sometimes, and I'll, I'll do that here since mm. we have a little time, is I will... Look at that. So you, you just you give it and be generous. You spread that out. And then what I'll do is I'll add a few little seasonal touches here, there. Oh, seasonal touches. What do we yeah. Do? Well, well, you'll see. Oh. And so, you know, my, my like wife, my, my, my wife was my sous chef, and so she laid everything out, kind of mise en place oh, style. Thank you. And because uh, you know I don't do mise en place. <laughs> <laughs> and then the butter one is one of my okay. favorite to just kind of garnish just a little bit, you know, just sprinkle a little bit on on top, okay. just just for a little added. Because I like that butter taste to come right. through, and it and it really goes well with the butter taste in the fish. True. Okay, and then we, we preheated our oven, so we're good. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna, can you open that for me? I'm gonna slide this in here. Okay. Look at that. And then we're just gonna slide, let's show this, see what it looks like before. Look can at you that. see it's that? Magical. Very beautiful. It smells, it smells good. Oh my goodness. And then we're just gonna throw that in here. Ooh. And then we're gonna time that for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Now, how, how did you um, figure out 20 minutes is like the best time to cook that without it being overcooked? What I used to do was cook on about 350 because mm -hmm. I wanted to retain moisture and I cooked it slow, mm -hmm. but a brother was ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so hunger drove me to the and higher so temperature. Like, All right, let me turn up the temperature. And see what it does. And, and, and a little trial and error. Okay. And then after a while, you figure out kind of a formula mm -hmm. and then you just do the formula. So you created this whole recipe just out of experiment. All off the top of the dome. So you like, you like is that what attracts you to food, is the ability to be able to just like think outside the box and put it together and see what happens? I think that's fair. I'm, I'm a relative creative person. Mm -hmm. And when I'm happy, uh -oh. I do stuff that makes me happy. And cooking makes you happy? And cooking makes me happy, I especially when my bride is happy right. or friends. I mean, she, my wife's a practicing attorney and mm -hmm. she would have her uh, associates to come mm -hmm. over as part of their welcome to Richmond. <laughs> Oh, and my husband will cook. Oh, so I had to be on my A game. Right. 
Uh, the other thing I do sometimes is I'll add a little pico de gallo. Oh. So with the tomatoes, the That's onions, yeah. and adds a little, uh, little, little bit more meatiness to it, mm -hmm. a little substance to it. And then there's another variant where we'll do on another show where I actually use a peanut sauce oh. and a couple of like other Thai. flavors, and it gives it this Thai feeling. feeling. Oh but really good. I mean, that fish just does wonders. And then the wow. sauce, you can leave it again. It makes for a great dressing. I mean, I you know, it's like, you. yeah, it's, it's off the chain. Are you sure you weren't a chef in another life? Well, look, I do have my, my thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> and you like how he invited yourself, himself on another show? You like right, how he did that? You got to that. I just made that in there. I just made that in there okay. a little bit. So okay. with, your, with the fish, mm -hmm. like what are some of the side dishes that, because we're going to do a salad today. We're going to do a basic romaine lettuce salad but like what typically do you usually eat that fish with the salad or whatever we usually have it with the salad every now and then we'll have it with uh red beans and lentils oh. we'll have uh some naan bread because we oh, like I to sop naan. everything up wait you buy the naan you don't bake it right we do buy the naan okay so, like, <laughs> if you bake your bread too it's a wrap well you know what i think i'm gonna have to start baking the bread oh bread. i didn't start at something i'm sorry <laughs> jackie that's his wife i'm sorry jackie my bad. Okay, now we're gonna be baking bread. Okay, okay. so usually with bread or salad, so uh -huh. lentils, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Um, and do you ever do any other starches or is it? Rice, uh, jasmine rice, yeah, so it's, um, okay. it's really good. I mean, you know, my wife's got me eating more healthy. Yeah, so we too. do, you know, probably less of the stuff with uh, sugars and things like that. Okay. So that's why the salad is gonna be perfect. Yes, we're gonna do a basic salad. I, when, we, when I was thinking about what to put together with the meal, right? So I thought, I like romaine lettuce. That's one of my favorite lettuces. I think because it's so beefy, right? But some people like, you know, the greens, the mixed greens, but I, sometimes for me, it's too bitter. Right. So I thought we would just do a basic, you know, romaine lettuce here. We're gonna just chop it up and I'm gonna let you spin it. I don't know how much lettuce you want, but we're gonna put a good okay. amount. Right. Cause like the, the people in my house don't like lettuce. Uh, but I like lettuce. Yeah. Well, lettuce is good for you. <laughs> lettuce is very good for you. So that's all you want in there. What you want? You like a lot of lettuce? Yeah. You like a lot of salad. I mean, okay. We gonna feed this one. This one bowl. Right one bowl. That ain't no one bowl. This is a couple bowls right here. We're gonna. And I don't know some people get real fancy and they just use a knife to cut it all up. But I like to just use just my hands. Just tear it up. Yeah, that's the easy I'm, way I'm to do it. I'm from the old school. We're just gonna do it with the hands, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna. We're gonna do all right. You want, here. you want to go with that? Yeah. Anybody got a time? I'll time it. I got a time. You got a time here. cutting up lettuce. Put the lettuce in there. <laughs> no, for the fish. Oh, did you? I got, you didn't I, put the timer on? I got it. It's a clock in my See, head. See, that's the difference between men and women. They didn't put the timer on. I got it. Okay, got we're going to so rinse you it off. So then you rinse this off. We started at 2.10. Uh, yeah, 2.10. So yeah. 2.30 would be ready. Now, this is something new I've never used. <laughs> So this is this is a fancy schmancy salad spinner. So you we put this use, on. I'm just used to a cup. And, and you can actually lock it in. She, yes, and, and then you, and you just do this number. That's and what like, it does just gets all the water out. Can't you just put it in the colander and top it up? <laughs> you can, but then you can't use the fancy <laughs> schmancy spinner. This is true. Okay, so we're gonna while you're doing that, I like these big beautiful tomatoes. I mean, you could use... Um, are those heirloom? I wish they were. These are actually organic Roma tomatoes. Um, and you could use the big fat round ones, which I don't really like. I like these because you can cut it up in different sizes. So do you like your tomatoes round or do you like them like in, in diced uh, pieces? For a salad? Yeah. I tend to like them cut up so they're in, in bite-sized portions. Okay, good. So I cut but mine down the middle. Whatever you do. Whatever works. Do that, and I want to be careful because today I'm wearing a really fancy, pretty apron. This is a it is a very nice apron. apron. Thank you. And did you know purple was for royalty? So and I like, am royal. That ooh, is, that, that's ooh, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm asking your husband about that. He would agree. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And then so okay. now for that, we want to put them in individual bowls. Or do you like put them in one big bowl? And people can take out what they like. What do you like to do? Uh, I'm flexible. I mean, You're like flexible. so. So my wife is usually ahead of that department. Okay. Put it I right cook. In. You <laughs> and then she tells me what we're gonna do next. <laughs> so tell me about Solidify uh, Productions. You know, as those of you who follow the show know, we are one of the TV shows on SoulVision.tv's app. Right. So tell us, how did you go with this big tech guy? How did you get into putting up shows like that? What are you looking for? Sure, sure. How exciting is your industry right now? It, it's, it's exciting, especially with the theaters and, mm -hmm. and the ability to kind of go out and film uh, opening back up, um, 
And we just think we're going to have even more demand. But we have about 500 hours. Oh, wow. About 100,000 people see some form of our media between the TV network and uh, the magazine that we have. Mm -hmm. and, um, Which we've been in a couple times. We've been in a couple times. <laughs> and our films. And so it's really exciting. But SoulVision.TV, we launched February, I think, of 2019. Right. And I was like, it's a Valentine's Day gift. Oh, and we give away the content, and it's about uplift cinema and encouraging programming. Some of it's faith-based, mm -hmm. a lot of it's talk shows about STEM, about cooking. Right. We're working on an exercise show. Oh, really? We've got some movies on. I need to be an exercise show. All right, come on. <laughs> and, um, and so I'm having a great time with it. I mean, I used to run a little phone company called Verizon, and I retired from there. Wait, stop. Uh -oh. He said a little phone company called Verizon. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Throw that in there, okay. And, and then in, after I retired, I was like, well, what do I do next? And right. uh, part of it was to leave behind a digital legacy. Mm. Uh, and I decided that the films that were out there just so often told from this point of view of our right. sorrows. Right. And I got tired of it. It made me sad. Mm. And definitely coming out of this pandemic, I want to be happy. I want to be lifted. <laughs> and so our films are about uplift. Okay. And um, in our magazine stories, and we featured Quincy Jones, yes. Stevie Wonder, Jeffrey Wright, yes. Vivica Fox, Big Deborah Dog. Martin Chase. Um, we're about to release uh, a few with some uh, big time celebrities. Yes, we've been uh, following you. We're on set now on, on, in Jackson, Mississippi with Bruce Willis, yep. Leon Robinson, yep. Frank Grillo, George Lopez. Ooh. Film Call A Day to Die. We're about to release a film called Freedom's Path. Right. And so it's been fun getting into this space. One of our books just won a National Book Award. Yes, it did. Uh, Tale, it. Tale of the T. We've got. But wait, you're an author too, though. That's right. That's my book. I wrote that with the guy named Jonathan Blank. Right. But your lawyer. children's book, though. Uh, Mr. Business. I was just going to mention Mr. Mm -hmm. Business. We've got seven books out now in the marketplace and on Audible. We're about to release the eighth book and um, a middle school reader. And so all that stuff will be out in May. So where do you find time to get in the kitchen and burn if you're doing all of that? My well, brother gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, you know, just, just to be, keep it real, uh -huh. the pandemic forced us to mm -hmm. stay in a little more. Right. And We don't really miss the restaurants like I thought I would. Okay. Because the cooking has become therapeutic. Oh, I love that, yes. And well and, and it's an act of love. Stress releaser. Stress relief. Right. And so we do a lot of that and we enjoy it. We we know who's prepared meals. And the those kind activity. of things, the love activity, you know, can be a date night. Right, you guys cook together too, we right? We do cook together. Oh, yeah, Jackie's right. typically the sous chef. She'll do all the <laughs> salads. She makes mm -hmm. a mean, hand-rubbed kale spinach. Oh, right. That hand-rubbed? Hand, hand We're going to have to bring her on the show just to even explain <laughs> hand-rubbed. It's delicious. Really? It's delicious. Oh, my god. And then, then don't let me mess around and cook some of my special uh, buffalo <laughs> no, that was barbecue next. I saw chicken it. wings. <laughs> Oh, in, my, in my air fryer. Oh, yeah, we Lord, get, air fryer. get rid of it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do you like, I love fruit in my salad. I do. Although, unfortunately, I'm allergic to strawberries. So like my replacement I found was craisins. craisins. Yeah, craisins are good. You like craisins? And, yeah, I do. And you know you can get those infused with different flavors. I don't know if they have strawberry. I've seen them infused with cherry and other things. But I just like them like they are. Okay, well I love yeah. craisins in our salad, so we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna do that Let's when, do we, it. when we plate our salad. But okay. first I wanted you to tell me Cause I oh had my, my I, I have my own little <laughs> salad dressing that I brought, but you know Mr. Fulton he likes to up my game, so Ooh. he brought us this Brianna's wonderful. This is ginger mandarin dressing. So all right, you said it's the, the truth, nothing but the this truth. is an award-winning dressing. It is one of the best dressings I have ever tasted in my life. And with they also that. make a Caesar with. Um, Agiago cheese in it. Um, they have so many different brands. This one sells out all the time. So when really? we can find it, we buy it in bulk. Oh wow! So that we have it. Right. Um, you can usually find the other ones, but any really good grocery store will have the this Brianna's. One, Brianna's too. Okay. Yeah, and that one is the hardest to find. The ginger really? mandarin. Yeah, but it's oh really, really delicious. Well, shout out to this company for their fabulous salad dressing. And
And so I smell the fish. It smells good. Do you need to check the fish? Like, do you check it halfway through or you let it? I got my like, formula. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm a bad man. I don't got to check the nothing. Bad. Shut your mouth. <laughs> bad. Shut your mouth. Okay, so while you're doing that, let's grab a. Oh, oh, let me ask you in terms of plating. Yeah. Like when you plate your fish, yeah. do you like plate it by itself? Do you put the salad in another bowl or do you put it on the plate with the fish? Um, Probably a little of both. It depends. Like, so if we're eating something that has its own sauce or runs, right. we may put it in a bowl. Okay. Um, if it's just a salad and we know we're going to have some of that dressing on it, we don't mind if it kind of mixes with, with the, the juice with that the it makes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so either way. Really, okay. really, what, what, whatever you want to do, whatever works for... If you're the guest chef, what would you like to do? Plate it with the fish or put it in its own separate bowl? Uh, well, this beautiful let's dressing. plate it with the fish just because for the camera and stuff, I don't want people to miss it. Okay. And, and and so if we have the bowl, then the bowl might get in the way. That's true. So we're just going to put it on there. And then that's the way people kind of eat at home, right? This is true. You know, all these bowls and stuff, that means more stuff to watch. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I got dishwashers at home, but sometimes they don't operate well, called children. Anyway, right. Ooh, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, they be broke a lot. They be broke a lot. Okay, this is this is this looks beautiful. That's I know I'm probably not salad. Okay. mix in there, but I I like to keep my salad really typically like one plate, one okay. place. Okay. Um, that's just me. So I'm glad you said let's put it all on on the plate, and we're gonna do that with that delicious salad. So okay. what's coming up next for Solidified Productions after all? Like, where would you like to see not only your company go? in the next year for 2021 but where where would you like to go personally would you like to do more traveling to learn more things to cook are you going to experience what, what would you like to do well i mean personally i'll keep cooking and we'll try different things my wife is really good at sending recipes Ooh. for us to try that means for yes. me to make <laughs> code make this honey <laughs> but, but that, that, that said that said uh -huh. um we'd like to do more films we've got three films in production we're actually seeking funding. Uh, one's a sports film, one's a drama, and uh, the other one is a sci-fi drama Ooh, that's really cool. I love sci-fi. And um, we're about to launch an app that allows people to go to the movies for free, mm -hmm. pay for in-game purchases for free. Oh. And uh, so that's gonna be cool. We'll launch that this summer. It's Ooh. called Pre-Show. And, um, are we going to have any of your food at the cafe? <laughs> we can. But, oh, the lunch. But, 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 but typically, I mean, when, when I cook, it's like, it's mostly for my family. Right. And um, occasionally I'll go down to my parents' house and surprise mm. them and meal. give them some food. Oh, man. Yeah, because I'm a good son. Oh, he's such a good boy. And, um, <laughs> and so we have fun. So my dad now thinks he can cook. Oh, so you have father-son cook-offs? Or are you well, have that I don't know if I would call it that because <laughs> his his thing is he can put it all in the microwave and make it <laughs> taste the same. So he would have like your salad, oh, no. a couple pieces of fish, put it in a bowl, oh, no. and put it all in the microwave. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like if you have, my dad says like, hey, you want one of my breakfast sandwiches? Oh no. Just pat. <laughs> Just says, I already ate. That's right. I already ate. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> I think you have ten minutes yeah, left yeah, on yeah, here. Six minutes. So when you're when you're six minutes, six yeah, minutes. Yeah, really? Six minutes. I think he's right. I can't. I can't add. That's probably why I'm not cooking this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never cooking the show. So when you're cooking, mm -hmm. when your food is resting, what are you like? What's typically what are you doing while the food is cooking? Are you looking up other recipes? No. Are you watching no. TV I'm, on I'm the watching phone? TV, or I may have a mm. a, a comforting beverage. Oh. And so I was looking for, oh, I do have it here. Oh, and yeah. I was like, I thought, where did I put my beverage? So inside my company cup. <laughs> <laughs> He's the marketing guru. <laughs> inside my company cup, I have, you know, a, a uh, adult beverage. So, but what, what would you drink with this with this meal? Like, if, okay, if it's a date night, uh -huh. what do you drink with you it? Upset? Go ahead. Uh, but versus if it's, you know, what would be a good family uh, drink to have uh, with this meal? Water. <laughs> Government juice. No. <laughs> Kool-Aid. That's cold. Kool-Aid. No. So no. ginger ale, water. Ginger, okay. Um, we like. Um, Cause it's butter. That's Aloe vera drinks, it. lemonade, anything lemonade. like that. I mean, when we have guests and we've had this, mm. we've had water and wine. 
Okay. Okay, now it's buttery, so you can just it is the, buttery, so you can pair it with the nice white. Mm, okay, um, but nice some people are giving up alcohol and stuff, so just right. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with water. No, not at all. You know, we need more of it. But, but right, it's, it's, good, it's good for your body. It's like milk does the body good. So the water. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So so, but we are, and we're trying to be much more health conscious. I like that. Yeah. So, uh, but I would do some water, um, and then a fun dessert. Oh, speaking of dessert, oh. we do have dessert today. Oh, there you go. You know, this is probably one of the first times on the show. Well, I've had desserts a couple times, but mm -hmm. we decided to do something special today. We are going to have a dessert that we'll talk about momentarily. Okay, but I love what, it. Di what dessert do you typically? I'm putting this in the sink now because it's I'm mother mode. It's driving me nuts. Lately. What I've been enjoying lately <laughs> is um, a raspberry sorbet oh. with a little honey whiskey in there. Oh, that sounds real good. Oh, Why didn't we think good. of that for the day? Why didn't we think of that? Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm not really a sorbet fan, but that that sounds good. It's real good. Ooh, raspberry. It's real good. Oh. And, and you know, just like because like I don't know all the rules in cooking. Really, I really I do rules. get in there. Well, maybe not, but I really get in there, just do my thing, and then whatever tastes good is what you like. I I try to remember it so I can do it again. Because that's the problem with like I get like jazzmatazz cooking. Because mm -hmm. I don't always. Do the same thing every time, right? And so when you're asking me like how much you put in, I'm like, ah, oh, no. just put it in there, <laughs> you know. But with the but with the rap, that's the old school. That's how grandma used to right, cook. Right, that's how they. But with, so with the raspberry sorbet, I accidentally poured the the whiskey, the honey whiskey in there. Really? And then it deliberately tastes good. Wait, how do you accidentally? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know, it just kind of fell in there. And so then you taste it. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's good. That's a good taste. Oh, She's like, woo! That's good. So Ooh. we've been having that every now and then. You know, every now and then. Every now. And then. Okay. Every now and then. Responsibly. <laughs> that's not something you give to the children now. No, not for the children. They think. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Yeah, they they think. So let's grab a plate. Okay. And what I'm gonna leave the bowl. Is we are gonna think about prepping go. here. Okay. Right. About. I think we have what. You need four minutes or something on that. Okay. We'll start with two. Yep. Right, and then I had salad tongs. What did we do? You got salad tongs? You got salad tongs? Um, we can make up some. <laughs> I had a salad tong, and I don't know what happened to there it. There you go. Salad tongs. <laughs> so invent it. We're going to, definitely going to invent it. So, All oh, right. oh, so question. Yes. Your fish, when the fish comes out, uh -huh. how big a piece, how, how big piece do you give? Like, if it's just a tube, do you guys get like half of it? If you got a pound? Or we do you... try to save some for leftovers, but we can cut this because we're having a salad with it. We can just. Uh, cut it and it'll be soft enough. We can actually okay. spoon cut it, mm -hmm. and then you just serve it to uh, to hunger. Okay. Yeah. So so for, for these purposes, the you probably just leave a little bit on the plate. We don't have to do the whole thing, or okay. we can. It's up to you. All right. So while I'm, he's, I'm, I'm hoping y'all save me a little bit for later. I don't. We'll listen here. I can't say nothing about the cameraman, but um, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can only speak for myself. So we're gonna. No, it's good. They gonna want to eat some of it. Play a little you. bit on there. I'm gonna make two voluptuous plates and so as I'm doing that I am also going to share what kind of dessert we have for today mm -hmm. so you said with a fish bring dessert so what I did was some people know that I do do some baking so I made for us today some red velvet cupcakes Ooh, I love that I call them shut your mouth cupcakes mm, <laughs> yeah, that's what we need right there. made from scratch because we only do from scratch, right? And so when we, when you're finished with your fish, then uh, you can have a cupcake. Okay, well, I appreciate that. You're welcome. That's good looking up. All right. So, All so right. we got our salad plated, and you're drinking your beverage in there. So, what are your, for the young man? <clears throat> you know, one of the things I find as a as a mother, like, I have a 20 year old son. Well, he'll be 20 mm -hmm. in August, mm -hmm. and. I never really put him in the kitchen, mm -hmm. but he's starting to want to experiment on his own with cooking. What is mm -hmm. your advice to young men who think like, you know, keep your focus on always, you know, the hustle, making the money, doing, you know, pushing and pushing. But what about, like you said, being able to prepare a meal, cook a meal for your girl. Mm -hmm. What's your advice to young men about stepping in that kitchen and just trying things out so that you can be, you know, it's a stress reliever, like you said, be more well-rounded. Well, well, a lot of times young men ain't trying to hear nothing about no stress. This so what I think you tell them things like, you know, even the best car needs fuel. Food is fuel. Mm -hmm. If you learn how to prepare it, you won't start. This is true. Okay. The other thing you have to tell them on the other side of that is a man that don't work, don't eat. <laughs> okay. Teach a man to fish, right? Right. Teach him to fish. Life, right? And so, it, 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 
it kind of grows on you because for some people, you know, they think it's going to be hard. Right. Because what they what they get is they go to the restaurant or they see the stuff that mom or grandma or right. whoever is caring for them has done. Mm -hmm. They're like, how did you do that? How did you get those flavors right. and things like that? So if you bring them into the kitchen while you're Cooking. preparing and, and and let them see that it's not that challenging, right. and then have them to help you and have good memories about it. Mm -hmm. Then as they get older, I think it'll be kind of a natural for them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're gonna do what I did when I was young or in college. You know, you got the fried bologna sandwich, oh, you know, peanut butter and jelly, oh, no, butter and, jelly now. and whatever <laughs> you can kind of put together <laughs> right. quick, right. as opposed to doing the prep. But sure. it was like 20 minutes. Right. And the, and the food is restaurant quality. I mean, what we're gonna have today, I would hold up to a restaurant to any dish. restaurant oh, wow. on the planet. And you know what, this is also uh, affordable and economical We're ready. because yeah. that fish probably only cost you about, what tax, maybe $28? Right? About that, whereas if you got it in a restaurant, it'd be, it'd be a, the whole meal would be $100 yeah, fish a person. Salad, right, yeah. per person, right. And the, and the romaine lettuce, you know, you can get that for a dollar, maybe $2, tomatoes about a dollar, and a bag of crazies. And so you could have a okay, nice... Look at that right there. Ooh, look at that. That's okay, it's nice and hot, it's beautiful. A nice one for about $35. Throw that up there, we'll cut the oven off. You don't need to put anything up, do you? No. Okay, we're gonna cut that off. And then what I like to do is take and do one more little go round. Little basting thing. Where I put, oh! Burn yourself. <laughs> That's another thing about being in the kitchen. You just never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's hot for real. That was a real reaction. <laughs> But you know what? That incident just happened. That's one of the things that actually scares my kids about being in the kitchen. Yeah. They're afraid of getting popped, like when you're doing like a, a you know a grease, something with grease in it, yeah. or even an egg. They're terrified of doing it. But that's how you learn. That's how you learn. And so, 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 but yeah. But this is. I mean, I love that's this pretty. dish. It's pretty. Presents well, and it's the gonna taste well. is going to flavor. So I'm gonna put this okay. thing back on. You ready? You ready for a piece? Yes. So, so you need a. Oh, you just use your spatula? I just use the spatula. Oh, we cut down the middle. Yeah. Oh, oh, you do it like chunks. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, and wow. And remember, uh, now I didn't cut the skin off this, so it's okay. a little skin on the bottom, but Ooh, you can take that off. Ain't that pretty? Ooh, look at that. I haven't look even look put the that. dressing on the... You haven't even put the dressing nope, on Nope, I haven't put the dressing on the salad right, yet. You're Let's talking get... too much. Let me get my I plate. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, bring it. You're rushing me. I'm bringing it. I'm ready to get into mine. We're going to have to look say something for the people. We'll try to say something. Oh, I cannot okay. wait to taste Okay. All right. This is yours. Oh, and so how do you know? Really? What do you mean that's mine? Give me the little piece. All right, that's all right. <laughs> okay. No, this is mine. So, but how do you know when um, this fish yeah. is cooked? Like, uh, how can well, you tell? You can take, I brought my thermometer. I knew you were going to ask me that. So 140 uh -oh. degrees inside is the technical way. To tell you, if the you, fish is So you take the thing out and you do the little joint. Hold on. And you put that in 140 degrees internal temperature, you're good to go. Okay. But po man, black man stop. Okay. <laughs> what directly what the people do is what the people do. They put it in and then when, when, it, when it looks like it's flaky, right. Where you can just kind of kind of uh, kind of yeah. fork into yeah. it, yeah. then you know you're good to go. Okay. Like that. Now I want but I want you to taste it. I want I, I want to sit back and watch it. I ain't I'm even gonna, gonna taste, taste it. it. Just taste a little piece. Watch this. Oh Lord, she's praying on it. Amen. <laughs> We're gonna pray because I've never okay. had this fish before. Now, did you take the skin off? You got the skin no. on the bottom? Take the skin off. Okay. Oh. Is it all right? You got oh, a yeah. little bit on it. I do. Let's take that off. I'm sorry. That's no, okay. Okay. All right, there you go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's gonna be good. Okay, here we go. Don't hit nobody. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that is good. You think that's not that's good. Oh my goodness, this is nice and flaky, like you said. And then when you think the seasoning is like mm. Mm. <laughs> But I tell you, compete with any restaurant <laughs> anywhere any restaurant in market. the world. That's good right there. This is good. And buttery, I, got the moisture. That's what I to taste it. too. You taste the butter? I can taste the butter. I, I taste the um I told you. I can taste the pesto. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's Let me good. bring this close to you because now I'm gonna bring you your dessert. Mm. Mm. So good right there. Yes it does. So I'm coming Did to you. You put no dressing on the top. Oh, you want this? I don't know what you want on your salad. Well, you know, I, don't, I want more than none. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So, I'm actually going to get a little plate. Okay. Y'all have to get some of this. It's good. We're, talk, we're talking to the cameraman audience and, and, and the makeup lady. They have to have some. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, and, and my bride. I'm going to tell you something. So these are from, of course, this That's is good right there. My, my other company, Maggie's Cupcake Cafe, right? Mm -hmm. We specialize in making homemade desserts made from scratch like grandma used to make. Mm -hmm. So I was taught, of course, by my mother, who was taught by her mother how to make a cake, mm -hmm. cookies, all that from scratch. Mm -hmm. And so to celebrate, to go with the romantic dinner, I thought, why not red velvet? So we have red velvet with sugar sprinkles mm -hmm. or without? Which one? Let me do without because I'm trying to lose That's what that. I thought. So I said, I'm only going to do. But I'm going to eat two. I'm going to do <coughs> two of these, right? Mm -hmm. There's yours. Thank you. Can I, I go know, ahead and taste it? You can go ahead and taste it. Right. I'm going to put this on the plate. So what is this, like a sour cream or something? This is just. Icing? What kind of icing? This is a cream cheese. Cream cheese. Okay. And with red velvet, you want to do a cream cheese? Okay, makes sense. Um, yeah, because it's real soft and it's luxurious. And you can mm. add stuff to it if you want to, but I just want a basic, traditional red velvet cupcake. That is delicious. Do you like that? Wow, well, I do. Is that better than the other cake I got you? <laughs> I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> See that, Eddie, how you do? <laughs> Every chef has Everything their bad day in the kitchen. Everything you do is wonderful. <laughs> this is mm -hmm. wonderful. So I'm glad this you like really that. Good. Yay. And oh, so, man. So this will be, there we go. Mm. So next time you have. You know what's fun about this show? What? You get to eat, but especially if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be on no bad cooking show. This is true. So, ladies and gents, that has been our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Beyond the Plate RVA with our fantastic chef extraordinaire, Mr. B.K. Bolton. Yes, yes. And thank you for bringing the je ne sais quoi. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> So join us next time on Beyond the Play RVA when we have another great chef. And again, thank you to A's Apron for my fantastic apron today. And of course, my awesome team that helps us put the show together. Have a great week, y'all. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm going to get back to eating my food. Yes, food yes, absolutely. Let me get some more of this fish. <laughs>